Don Barthelmus has been involved in professional diving for over 40 years as a diver and educator. He helped launch, develop, and advance many marine careers. He began working in commercial diving as a diver, submarine pilot, and ROV technician for Andre Gallern's International Underwater Contractors, Inc. of New York. Don served as the general manager of their Pacific Division in Ventura, California. In 1982, he set a depth record, diving to 1,972 feet in the Gulf of Mexico, while piloting the Mantis, an atmospheric diving system. In 1986, Don was part of the IUC's subcrew that were the first to study and photograph six gilled sharks in their natural habitat at 2,000 feet for National Geographic Society. This was done off Bermuda, utilizing the Pisces 6 submersible, working alongside the late Dr. Eugenie Clark. A tenured professor for 30 years at Santa Barbara City College, Don trained divers in the renowned Marine Technology Program. Don shapes student attitudes, sharing his philosophy of safety and teamwork through hands-on training in realistic experiences. As a NAWI instructor trainer and course director, he has certified all levels of divers from entry level to instructor in SBCC's Recreational Diver Specialist Program in the 1990s. He was director of the program from 1994 to 2003. In 1998, the Marine Tech Program at SBCC received the prestigious Exemplary Program Award from the State of California Chancellor's Office in recognition for the unique hands-on diving program. A contributor and reviewer for the NOAA Diving Manual and Commercial Diver Training Manual, Don's emphasis was to build upon a trainee's foundation of scuba while introducing advanced modes of diving to match specific underwater tasks. Teamwork, safety, and work ethic are the cornerstones of his teaching philosophy. His teaching disciplines included diving physics, physiology, emergency medicine, hyperbaric chambers, and mixed gas diving. In 2008, Don was recognized as Santa Barbara City College's faculty lecturer, the college's highest honor. He holds degrees from Florida Institute of Technology in Underwater Technology and California State University in Occupational Studies. His graduate degree is in Educational Technology from Pepperdine University. Don has served as a consultant for the diving industry, doing expert witness work, authoring safety manuals, training, and curriculum development. He has also served as a technician on submersible refits, including James Cameron's Deep Worker Submersibles. An avid volunteer, he served for 25 years with the Association of Commercial Diving Educators, co-authoring the American National Training Standard for Commercial Divers. He has also served on committees for the Association of Diving Contractors International and the International Dive Schools Association. As president of the Santa Barbara Maritime Museum and a past president of the Historical Diving Society USA, he embraces the past to guide our future. Don received the HDS Nick Icorn Diving Heritage Award in 2011 for his work to restore and bring the world's first commercial lockout diving bell, Parisima, back home to Santa Barbara, where it was built and launched in 1964. Don's biggest influences in diving have been the people he has worked with over the years. He learned and benefited from many of them. His instructors at Florida Institute of Technology built his foundation of safety through training and knowledge. IUC's operation manager, Booker T. Washington, taught him work ethic and to think outside the box in solving underwater challenges. Don's colleagues at SBCC helped him form a teaching identity and develop a culture of diving safety and community. The many diving pioneers that he has encountered and befriended throughout his career have continually inspired and motivated him. Congratulations to Don Barthelmus, this year's Nogi recipient for sports and education. Tonight. You know, as I look out 
on this audience, I am profoundly aware of how many people have come before me and how many of you here in this room have been influenced not only by diving career, but my personal life. Thank you all so very much. I also want to thank the Academy of Underworld Arts and Sciences for once again bringing everyone together. It's been a difficult two years for everyone on so many different levels. My diving career has been a journey that I would never trade. Like many of you, I grew up watching episodes of Sea Hunt and the undersea world of Jacques Cousteau. I often imagined what it would be like to become a diver and explore inner space. Historian and author David McCullough once said that Real success is finding your life work in the work that you love. And I think his quote sums up how I feel about the paths that I've taken. I was given good advice many years ago. Find your passion, Don, and figure out a way to make a living doing it. And that way you will never have to look for a job. <laughs> But I, what I treasure most, though, is the incredible people that I have met and worked with along the way. Seeing the successes of people I've trained and building lasting friendships. We all learn best from our real life experiences. And I reflect often on the time and the memories spent with so many unique people in so many unique environments. I've been very, very fortunate. And good fortune, of course, comes with a lot of help. And I want to acknowledge a few people here this evening. Firstly, my friends, family, and colleagues who have supported me for many years and traveled to be with us here tonight. There's a lot of people that have come here tonight. Thank you for taking the time. <laughs> My commercial diving instructors at Florida Institute of Technology, they instilled an attitude of diving safety within me. And years later when I got into teaching, I drew upon those same experiences to influence my own teaching. My first boss, the late Andre DeLearn, he himself a past Nobel recipient and the founder of International Underwater Contractors in New York City. Andre put a tremendous amount of trust in me as a 20-year-old kid, and he gave me a start professionally. The entire Galern family treated me as an extension of their own, and for that, I'll be eternally grateful. My mentor at IUC was our operations manager, Booker T. Washington. And yes, Booker is a direct descendant of the legendary educator. Booker taught me many things, trained me as a subpilot, but the most important thing that he taught me was work ethic and determination, no matter how difficult or insurmountable the job task seemed. He led us all by example. My brother from another mother, Sean Durkin, he's sitting right down here at my table tonight. <laughs> Sean and I worked offshore together in the 1980s. And Sean's always been there for me, as he is tonight. He was always there for me even when we were a few thousand feet underwater. My colleagues at Santa Barbara City College, Kurt Reese was here tonight. Kurt was always the eyes in the back of my head whenever we talked together in the water. I want to thank all my colleagues at Santa Barbara City College for their decades of friendship and support and for always being on the same page along with me. We all, of course, know our good friend. Mr. Ed Stetson. Ed, you not only kept me diving, you not only kept me diving, Ed, but you created many tremendous adventures and opportunities for me in our field. And I treasure our friendship and training divers along with you. Lastly, I want to say that diving, our past really does guide our future. I think it's incumbent on all of us to continue to educate and 
raise awareness to mitigate the impacts that we as a modern society have had on the oceans. It's why I admire divers in this industry so much. There, of course, remains a vast amount to learn about and explore, but also much to preserve and responsibly manage for future generations. Thank you for this incredible honor. I will cherish all this. Thank you.